Welcome to Zach D TV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at a possible breakthrough in Chinese rocket propulsion, then a Mars colony in Dubai, and then we'll wrap it up with some new information on the Deep Space Gateway. And remember, if you want more interesting news seven days a week, click the subscribe button over here so you know when I upload something new. All right, let's get into this. You know, first things first, let's take a look at this photo. This is Yu Antilly. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And scientists figure around 2,700 years ago, this star rapidly blew off a large amount of its mass. And I just thought this is a cool photo of a star with a bubble of mass around it that I thought you'd like to see. All right, let's get back to the news. Researcher Chen Yu from the Chinese Space Agency was recently featured in a video put out through state media earlier this month that claims that China has a working EM drive. If you don't know what the EM drive is, We'll do a quick rundown now. Back in 2001, Roger J. Sawyer came up with the idea for this new style of space propulsion. And since then, a lot of people have based a lot of hope on this, but there's also been a lot of criticism on how this just can't work. However, back in 2014, NASA did announce that they had made a working example of this. They did produce thrust, and NASA did release a peer-reviewed and accepted paper on how this could work theoretically. And back in December of 2016, China announced that they were actively testing one on their Tiangong satellite, and they said it worked. Now, the EM drive supposedly generates thrust without using a propellant. It does this by bouncing microwaves around inside of a specially shaped container. The shape of this container is said to change the way the magnetic field forms around it, and through a little trick of magic, it ends up providing thrust. However, the physics of this EM drive go against Newton's third law. Which states, basically, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And by this not pushing with propellant, it breaks that third law. However, people who say this work says no, no, no. It uses virtual particles from a quantum vacuum to replace the propellant. And from what I understand of the quantum vacuum, it really shouldn't be able to be interacted with. So, this is still all up in the air. I don't know if it works or not, but supposedly it'd be a limitless amount of thrust. So it would be able to speed up our space travel by quite a bit. Like I said, they're supposed to be putting this up on a satellite to test it. I'll keep an eye on this and let you know when I know something new. Next, let's look at this announcement made by the UAE. Coming shortly after a group of NASA scientists left their isolated Mars-like habitat in Hawaii, Dubai announced they will build a complete Mars colony in the desert in Dubai. That's right, the Mars City Science Project is being developed in order to test technologies that we will need to set up a colony on Mars. They look forward to testing things like farming ability in soil that doesn't have a lot of nutrition or water in it, or to learn lessons on isolation, different ways to shield from solar radiation even. This does seem to be a pretty complete project as well. They even plan on 3D printing a lot of the buildings inside this dome in order to test techniques using soil as similar as we can get here on Earth to what they have on Mars. The UAE does plan to have a dedicated team living in here for at least a year minimum. That way they could take a look at all the psychological effects too. Although it does seem like they'll be living pretty well. The plans do include a museum, a lobby area, and even a theater. UAE officials have not set a date yet for completion of this project, but it does tie in with their 2117 Colony on Mars project, where they plan on building a manned colony within the next 100 years on Mars. So I have no doubt this will be done well before then. And I hope these experiments go a bit better than Biodome did. And finally, let's look at some news about the Deep Space Gateway. Earlier today, Russia announced that it will be joining efforts with America to make this a reality. If you don't know, the Deep Space Gateway is a planned spaceport to orbit the moon. This will be our stepping off point for missions to Mars, as well as launching missions down to the lunar surface. NASA did announce these plans a while back. In fact, I did a video about it here. At that time, a lot of our usual friends were on board, like the Japanese Space Agency or the European Space Agency. But Russia and China were both being pretty standoffish on this endeavor. Well, to show that science is more important than politics, it seems we're all going to pool our resources together and do something good for the future of humanity. Personally, I really like to see this kind of cooperation. Now, if only we get China on board. So what do you think? Which one of these stories is most interesting? And do you think China really has an EM drive? That would be amazing. And if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and click that like button, because that would sure help my channel grow. I do this five days a week with a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday, so I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.